On March 9th, Kane Young defends his Apollo Heavyweight Championship versus Harry Bray. I want to go right back to the beginning of sort of everything, you coming back on the scene, into boxing. Obviously boxed a lot as an amateur. What made you want to get back into the sport? Um, bit of a change in direction, just in life of what I was doing before, into a bit sort of weightlifting, stuff like that. Um, looking for something that I enjoyed again. Went down the gym with my brother um, about this time last year, to be fair. Um, got back into it, started enjoying it again, seeing all these shows going off, your show, a few others in Leicester. Um, and thought, yeah, fancy a go again. And Kane's name, obviously, around your weight. And Kane, that fight for you was a name, because he had a belt, that was a fight you wanted. Again, probably not nothing personal, but one of the top names, that was a fight that yeah, attracted yeah, of course. to um, so. When I got back into it, I had sort of the first fight I had was a bit of a, um, a last minute step in. The mm. standard wasn't the best that I had. Um, and then I started looking around Leicester, seeing who was sort of the best around my weight on the shows that were going off, do you know what I mean? Um, so, like I say, Kane was one. There was a few others on a few other shows. Um, tried to make all of them last year, to be fair, back end of last year. Um, and obviously, what's happened, happened. We've got to here and Kane's the only one that stepped up, really. When I mentioned the fight to you about Harry, first bringing it up to you, you was straight away, yes, you was looking forward to it, you was confident. Was you frustrated with how everything happened with the last show of not being able to fight yourself? Because it was a big challenge that you was looking forward to, I know, as well. Yeah, it was just a massive stress on it. Was just, I just felt like it was just like one thing after another for me, do you know what I mean? Like last year, it was just a total write-off when it came to mm. training, do you know what I mean? Uh, it was like a week before the Reese fight, I did something to like the tendon in my elbow and then obviously I've been told to just stay out the gym. It started getting all right a few weeks before, then I'd been sparring that Thomas Pogson. Mm. Then the way he went and fractured me rib and then I was like, shit. <laughs> and prefer him out. I was like, bastard. Because someone like Harry, I've got to be 100%. I can't, yeah. like, if I've got any niggles like that. I mean, it was a, like, it was a fracture on the lower in my head. I did say to you, I was like, I will go ahead with it and then yeah. you advise me, no, you need to be 100% with someone like that. And naturally you was frustrated with that mm -hmm. because as you mentioned, you've come back on the scene, you've heard about the different guys, not just Kane on the scene and you've, you, everyone in boxing knows you've tried to make all these fights, but for some reason no one wants to fight you. Yeah, that's it. So last year, like I said, I got back into it, arranged four or five fights and had four of them pull out, mm -hmm. uh, obviously including myself, obviously I know the situation with that now. Um, so at the time I was very frustrated, yeah. It's, um, some people would say a bit out of character for me to go to social media and yeah. start um, saying stuff like that. But um, it's, made, like, it's made the fight, it's made oh, it, it's bigger now. Yeah, and I think it was needed at the time, not not just for King, but there's people pulling out left, right and centre mm. who are on Facebook saying, oh, I'm this, I'm that, I'm, 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 I'll beat anybody, yeah. nobody will fight me. And then, like I say, it's the only one that's here today. Yeah. And I still not box anybody else from the city. So do you, do you recognise Harry's your biggest test yet? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. A lot more experience than me. I mean I bought this will be my ninth fight now. Mm. It's a big test for me, like if I if things go out of plan, which I hope so, it's a because I want to turn pro after this, hopefully, it's a good step for me, do you know what I mean? This is it's a good platform for me to propel forward, do you know what I mean? And respectfully Obviously, in the amateurs, you fought a lot of very ex experienced amateur fighters and, and, and f fighters with a lot more fights than Kane. So you might not say it's the hardest fight on paper that way, but at this new weight, you know, being a lot older now, at this weight, it's, I guess for you as well, it's a challenge for you this weight as well. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, finished my amateur career around 17 years old. And obviously, I was a lot, lot lighter. I was around 50-ish of kilo. Um, so it's a whole different ball game. He's the biggest bloke I've ever boxed. Um, Probably one of the biggest events I've boxed on. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, I've been to, say, national semi finals and stuff like that, but they're in leisure centres. Do you know what I mean? This, this is a big, a big event. Um, so, yeah, it's a definitely good, in, a good event. Sorry. Yeah, in, in terms of the, um, in, in that first fight, we mentioned doubts and stuff before, but for this fight, you did say that sort of doubts went. You did, you did believe Kane would turn up for this fight, and, and obviously he's here. That was what, what was the change in you sort of with that? Um, I just didn't think, obviously, knowing was now, it more Was it more so a feeling? Did you, did you just have sort of a bad feeling about last year? Maybe yeah. maybe even you knew about some of the issues Kane was going through mm -hmm. and sort of felt like it's not all going to align how it's meant to. Whereas, obviously, we know you in the gym, this, this you know, this 
this year in the back end, he was in a, in a much better place now. So mm. was it maybe just sort of knowing a bit of that information and all yeah. of it aligned? I know myself, after, after speaking to several people, speaking to it myself, <laughs> finding out obviously this was injured, that was mm. injured. Um, I'd like to say things don't always line up. Um, but me, myself, putting myself in his position, I couldn't pull out twice. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think, of course it's going to happen this time. With, um, so. with Kane being the champion, with Kane, the fights he's had so far, winning a lot of his fights comfortably, one of being one of the top fighters in, in the gym. Mm-hmm. Is that a bit of motivation for you to come and dethrone him? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, 100%, yeah. Like I say, he's had all, crews for all of them. Yeah. Honest, with your all comfortable wins. Um, and for you, Kane, it's a thing of having someone as, as experienced as Harry. And now, with everything that's happened the past few months, a lot of people doubting you, a lot of people just rooting for Harry because of that experience, that is, is that a motivating factor for you to, yeah. to show people what you can do? Yeah, just to showcase my ability. Like I've been in the ring with like some Richie Rap, Paul Fraser Clark, people like that, people of like high calibre. So I want to prove that I can step up with the best, you know what I mean? And I can handle it. And the you've best. had some good fights, but would you say people haven't seen, still haven't seen the nah, best of you? I'm still yet? insane that, nah. Because especially like what Harry's going to bring to the table is going to be something completely different that all of it. Like, it's a completely different game plan than what I've had to do with any of them, do you know what I mean? Like, he's really a really lot taller, I, had to, I could box him a bit more, do you know what I mean? And I could get on the inside, I, I yeah. can't get on the inside of having now, do you know what I mean? Because he'll was, was just end up eating my body alive, do you know what I mean? So. you feel like it's going to be one of them fights that'll bring the best out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, getting get into your, the styles and, and talking about game plans and stuff, obviously we won't go into too much detail, as we're not going to reveal that anyway, but um, what is, in terms of looking at Kane, I'm not, not going to ask for fight predictions and stuff like that, but what is there about him that you think, feel like you can really exploit? Obviously, being a shorter heavyweight, um, everybody has to bigger than me, mm. taller than me. It's just normal sparring for me, do you know what I mean? Um, I think a lot of the perception of me is that I'm a come forward, strong, bully sort of boxer, um, but then everybody wants to say, oh, he's had loads of fights as an amateur, mm. he's a well experienced. So if you go back to my amateur days, that wasn't who I was and that wasn't how I boxed. So there's not just one style of me coming forward, trying to bully, trying, trying to get people yeah. out of there. I can box, I box on the back foot, I beat people to the jab, do you know what I mean? And would you say, maybe argue it might be a bit too soon for Kane in his boxing at this point? Potentially, mm. potentially. I think I'm nothing like any other previous lads that I've seen mm. in box. Um, yeah, no, no disrespect to them. Yeah, no, of course. Would you say maybe an argument against hiring for you might be the natural size? Do you think maybe looking at the fight naturally bigger, do you think that will play a factor in the fight at all? Yeah, I think it'll play it like, yeah, I do feel that it'll play a factor. Just like, obviously I'm used to sparring people, like the same again, I'm used to sparring people who's a bit smaller than me. I'm normally the taller person. Apart from Mark, who's taller than me, everybody else is around Harry's height. So, I'm used to that, I'm used to the shot selection that he would normally have to use, the smaller person normally has to use. Uh, I've noticed that like, he can, obviously, knowing that he was a lighter fighter, like I've, what, I've been watching his fights, I've, like, I've seen he can box on the back mm. foot, he, can, he likes to be a bit flashy, he likes to do this, but it, the fights that he did that with, they weren't as tall as me and that might play get, like go against him, do you know what I mean? Yeah, and with, obviously, you two, with the, how the first fight went, people might assume there's a, there's a lot of bad blood. There's that rivalry, there's that, there is that natural rivalry and I, and I can guarantee the fight itself is going to be one of the best fights we've had on the shows, I know that for sure. But in terms of bad blood, any there? Any bad blood between each other? No, no bad blood, <laughs> just, just business, just, just, got, just got a point to prove, do you know what I mean? And put in a good performance. Yeah, a fight that sort of needed to happen though at the same time. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Give the fans what they want. Yeah. There's no, no bad blood at all, um, I don't think. I think a lot of people may perceive there to be because mm. we both want to win. Um, I'm going in there, of course I'd love to stop him and I, I'm sure he'd love to knock me out as well, mm. do you know what I mean? Um, it's, uh, people get it confused, it's, it's a sport at the end of the day. Um, yeah, both, I, I we're agree. We're both in there to win. Yeah, I agree. One thing I will say though is I do feel like the, the atmosphere for this one, the respect's there, but I do feel like when we get to March 9th, the atmosphere for this fight will be different and with it being heavyweights and what again words that have been said not even in a malicious way i do think it will it will really steal the show and the atmosphere will be insane for this one um getting back to that and words that have been said in the past one thing that i am interested to know and see if we stick by it we spoke before about 
you two, you bet in your purse, you bet in your purse, you was confident, you was confident. Whoever wins this fight takes everything, takes all the money on the table that, that will be being paid for this fight. Um, is that still on from your side? Yeah, yeah, it is. From your side? Yeah, everything said, the five rounds, money on the table, yeah. all of it. We'll get a handshake on that? Yeah, yeah let's go. On March 9th, Kane Young versus Harry Bray.